since August of 2025, we had some new guidelines for high blood pressure, which was good because we were new to some. Mainly highlighting the role of not only treating more aggressively for those who are higher risk, but also trying to implement the lifestyle changes needed to prevent high blood pressure. We found that some patients have higher cardiovascular risk that we should treat them more aggressively and, uh, and earlier. The recommendations are to treat less than 130 over 80 for those who are at higher risk and to treat everyone who's greater than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. For our lower risk patients who are greater than 130 over 80, which is still classified as stage one hypertension, we particularly focus on lifestyle modifications first, because if in six months we can get you lower, then may not, may not be a role for implementing medication at that time. Lifestyle modification, they haven't changed much, right? Our body's been the same, but uh, we have had a uh, good improvement in regards to diet changes, implementing uh, methods of the DASH diet, which primarily is lower salt, but also some people forget that we also want to increase sometimes our potassium intake, provided that we have no issues with managing potassium, but also want to increase exercise as well. Usually try to get some sort of aerobic activity, 120 to 150 minutes a week to try to increase the aerobic exercise of our bodies, but also decrease the blood pressure. And then the combination of those will also help patients with lowering weight, and lowering weight also helps to improve the blood pressure control. If after six months of lifestyle modification, good changes in exercise habits, good changes in diet, and we're still not able to get less than 130 or 80, then we recommend implementing medications in addition to this. There's a lot of blood pressure medications that we can use, it typically, tailors to the patient and what other comorbidities they have. For example, a patient with diabetes or certain medications we prefer to start with versus a patient with heart failure, for example.